Okay, so I've just taken a block of clay, 6.5 millilitres, and combined it with Tarmac Buxton Lime Calcium Oxide, about less than 6 mil in size. I've just combined it. So I put the 65 grams of the lime into a container and I added the clay block into it. Gave it a mix. Very difficult to combine both materials. Added a bit of water. Observed the exothermic reaction. And mixed it with a spoon. It is a beautiful buttery consistency. And we do have the white unslaked Lime. I mean, I literally only spent about five minutes mixing that manually. It was quite a lot of hard work. So I want to see what the effect of the clay is on the lime as we allow it to to uh, dry, carbonate. See if there's any advantage in having the clay inside it. I'm going to compare that with similar block of material without any clay in it see you know if there's an advantage or not does it crack less or does it um, produce a better material in terms of porosity or density or a simple test uh, in hindsight i think i would have added the clay into water first to form a slurry and slowly added that slurry slowly added that slurry into the lime and i'm going to do that as a comparison com comparative test as well this is more, more control on the experiment reaction that way um, so a lot of work though, so I'm, I'm just thinking about the you know, the most efficient way is get a very large surface area on a building, how you, how you deal with this, you know, how you actually deal with this. 